My dear boy. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Don't mind Clothilde. She gets a little excited when she sees strange men. This is number 43, Cheney Square, is it? Come through to my oubliette, my dear, and fit comme chez vous. I shall mix you a little something devilish of my own devising. A suspicion of parfait amour, a hint of orgiat, a couple of cocktail cherries, some thick cream, and, of course, a sprig of hyssop. I call it my Moroccan sunrise. And believe me, it has caused many a son of Morocco to rise in its time. Oh, I should stop myself. I should, really. Clotilde here will tell you that I do go on so sometimes, won't you, Clotty, dear? I don't believe I caught your name. Uh, Nigel Carter. Nigel Carter. Nigel Carter. There's a breath of something fine and ripe in that name. Something impossibly noble and yet thrillingly rotten. <laughs> sit, Master Nigel Carter. Sit, 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 sit. It's called a lover's seat. I picked it up in San Gimignano in 1963, that and so much else besides. <laughs> you may keep your clothes on for the moment while I weave my magic with my cocktail shaker. Clothilda shall amuse you with stories of the gorgeous East. Uh, yes, it's, um, it's about the advertisement in this month's model aeroplanes. Such a stimulating read. I never miss a copy. Um, yes. Um, models wanted, highest prices paid, apply Symbold Clearbury, 43 Cheney Square. That is you, is it? It is I. My parents christened me Donald, a name entirely without hope. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to give you two cocktail cherries, one for each of your blue, blue eyes. <laughs> so I usually pay £30 for my models. Does that seem fair, my dear? Oh, yes, yes, more than reasonable. Yes, um, I've got a sop with camel, uh, full RFC markings, scale 120th. I've, I've brought a photograph. A camel? <laughs> yes, um, it's, uh, it's quite old, but in very good condition. And where do you keep this camel, Nigel Carter? Well, in my room at home in Greenford. And they dare to say, Nigel Carter, that the age of romance is dead. <laughs> I think you'll find it's the hyssop that makes all the difference. I adore hyssop, don't you? Mm, very tasty. So, what is the name of this camel who lives with you in your room in Greenford? Well, Sopwith. Sopwith. <laughs> Too heavenly. Perhaps I shall paint you astride with this Sopwith. It's not impossible, but first I shall have you sprawled on the tiger skin, firelight dancing on your naked, shivering thighs. <laughs> have you modelled before? Oh, yes, yes, all my life. Well, since I was four. Mercy, Nigel. <laughs> Mercy, since you were four. Yes. My grandfather started me off so often the way. <laughs> We both ended up covered in glue. Nigel, you amaze me. It was a fucker. It sounds it, Nigel. <laughs> in glue, you say? Well, you need fear no such extravagances from me. Perhaps a light brushing in oil to bring out your flesh tones, but nothing more. Uh, would you like to see my jumbo? <laughs> Nigel, I should like to see your jumbo very much indeed. There you are. Nigel, this is a photograph of a large jet aeroplane. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't know how that got in there. Ah, uh, there it is there. My, that is a jumbo, isn't it? <laughs> now, clothes off and onto the tiger skin with you. Right, I'm... 